Hey, what's up guys, Giorgio Beloso here. Thanks for stopping by to check out uh, this tutorial inside 3ds Max. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to create this image that you're seeing here. So it's nothing complicated, but we are going to spend a few time uh, creating the shaders for this lollipop, you can see. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. But before we start, I'd like to say that if you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel as this is helping me to grow. And if you have any question concerning this tutorial, leave your comment, push the like button and let's go so first thing first is that I just want to uh, start a fresh 3d max uh, yeah so yeah first thing first we want to do is that we want to make a few settings go to your renderer uh, ren render settings or you can hit F10 on your keyboard. Uh, just get the active shade and select Arnold for your renderer. Yeah, so let's just start modeling. First thing is that you want to lay down a plane, just lay a massive plane. Usually I like to, uh, usually I just like to change color to black and then just turn the material editor and just get stand just get the standard surface and very quickly I'm just gonna rename this to just general and I'm gonna really take out this picture and I'm just going to okay I'm just gonna apply this material yeah or my ground my plane and then uh, to create the lollipop we're going to start with a sphere just lay a sphere I'm just gonna hit F4 we say the rotation sorry is the axis I'm gonna go to the front view just bring just right there it's just I'm just gonna change the color as well to black and apply this material okay so we're just gonna do a bit of editing right now so we're gonna turn this convert this into uh, editable poly then I'm gonna go again to the front view I'm gonna select I select these polygons these polygons I'll go back to the uh, perspective view just to make sure that these polygons are selected I'm going to extrude change the extrusion mode uh, I'm only gonna extrude this one and then uh yeah so we're gonna go to edges select these edges and these edges here and we're gonna chamfer those maybe uh 0.5 okay so that's our lollipop done so we're now gonna go ahead and create the stick for the lollipop all right so to create the stick for the lollipop we just need a cylinder Okay, just leave it there and yeah just turn on five um, height segment to six increase just increase the height to whatever you, you feel like and maybe the radius I'm gonna decrease the radius to four so all right so that's it I'm gonna change this to black again and then apply that material you don't necessarily need to do this but I just like to keep everything this way. so next thing I'm going to do is I am going to align uh, the stick to my lollipop so to do that I'm just gonna go to align or right, you go ahead and play with that whatever works best for you and doesn't really seem to be right in the center so I'm just gonna go to top then I'm going to just position this okay that's it okay there we have it I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking I feel like the stick is really too big maybe just bring it down a bit yeah convert this to editable poly then um, yeah so I'm gonna select I'm gonna select 
these polygon these faces i'm gonna extrude them as well change the extrusion mode one and then that's it but you could chamfer these but i'm not gonna do that uh yeah so that's our lollipop done for the modeling and we are going to go ahead and begin to create the shaders for this okay so just gonna select the uh, stick and the lollipop uh, i'm just gonna rotate them okay well well you can go ahead and play whatever works best for you all right so let's go ahead and get the um shaders for this thing so hit m on your keyboard come up in here and type standard surface okay so i think i'm gonna need a few of these i'm gonna need three standard surface all right so this one we're gonna name it uh you can name it wherever you want but this one we're gonna name it sweetie or, or lollipop whatever works best for me the next one we're gonna name it stick and the next one i'm gonna name it gb for ground or well, ground all right so we're gonna start with the stick what we just gonna um maybe take out all the specular maybe 0 0.2 specular and we're going to increase uh the sheen sheen yeah okay maybe play with the sheen a little bit and maybe bring the specular down as well because these things uh the sticks are usually not that uh that reflective anyway so just like that and uh, just go ahead and apply this material to our stick and the ground we are going to uh, bring the specular down as well maybe to 1.4 and change the color to whatever color pleases you um well i'll just go with maybe yellowish background or ground rather and just um, apply that to that okay so for the our sweet uh, material uh, shaders we are going to take out the base color and for the specular we want to go ahead and go somewhere towards reddish somewhere there yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and and put some value into the transmission put 1k so transmission for the depth we're gonna put one as well and uh extra roughness play with the extra roughness you know what i'm gonna leave the specular to zero uh leave the specular to white and transmission i'm going to take it towards red okay all right guys so here's the thing our depth is at one so the depth is um basically the depth allows us to see how the light is traveling through the object so we need to uh, activate thin world as this will give us the translucent effect because we need to realize that this type of object they are not just uh ref refractive or transparent they are translucent so we need to activate this okay so there we have it and we're just gonna go ahead and apply this material to our lollipop this well let's hit render and see what we have Okay, so another another setting we could activate is the uh, subsurface scattering. Just maybe one, and let's see. All right, so you can see uh, there is a bit of change there. Okay, so 
so far so good what we're gonna do now we're going to try and uh, okay let me show you what we're going to try and create okay guys so if we look at this original render uh, we see that these white stuff they're like scratches on the lollipop so yeah we are going to try and recreate those and um, yeah so let's go ahead and, and create those as this is going to help us uh, sell realism to our render so um, yeah so first thing first we want to do is uh, like scratches or imperfection um, but it has to be like uh, PhD uh, PNG files anything with like scratches or imperfection stuff this is going to help a lot and hi hi alright so we are going to connect this into 